was showing you remember uh, the big October moments, and, and a lot of times those are tiebreakers. And I think that our relievers have been really underrepresented in Cooperstown. My standards are pretty tough. I don't fill out the full 10 on the ballot just because there's 10 spots. I go for the really elite, elite players. And to me, the, the best part about this year's ballot was Ken Griffey Jr. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. We are less than 24 hours away from the announcement of the 2016 class of the National Baseball Hall of Fame, as speculation continues to grow over who will make their acceptance speech next summer in Cooperstown. Ironically, the biggest drama surrounding this year's vote centers upon the only candidate widely considered a shoe-in for induction, Ken Griffey Jr. The 22-year veteran has a shot at becoming the first unanimous inductee in the history of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Tom Seaver currently owns the distinction of garnering the highest percentage of votes from the Baseball Writers Association of America. The 311-game winner earned 425 of a possible 430 votes back in 1992 for a percentage of 98.84. Rounding out the top five all-time are Nolan Ryan, Cal Ripken Jr., Ty Cobb, and George Brett, all with percentages exceeding 98%. But Griffey is far from the only big name hoping for a life-changing phone call on Wednesday. The 2016 ballot also includes Mike Piazza, Trevor Hoffman, Jeff Bagwell, and Tim Raines. Stay with MLB.com for complete coverage of Wednesday's announcement of the 2016 class of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Another baseball front office executive is on the move, not just to another team, but to another sport altogether. Paul D. Podesta is vacating his role as vice president of amateur scouting and player development for the National League champion New York Mets to accept a position with the NFL's Cleveland Browns as the franchise's chief strategy officer. D. Podesta had served under general manager Sandy Alderson since 2010, leading the Mets' draft process every season. First-round selections under his watch included Brandon Nemo in 2011, Dominic Smith in 2013, and Michael Conforto in 2014. The 43-year-old D. Podesta will actually be returning to his professional roots, having broken into the business with an entry-level position with the Baltimore Stallions of the Canadian Football League. Certainly when you look at his, his track record, Paul's track record, he has played football at Harvard in, in college. He actually had an internship in the, in the Canadian Football League. And he's maintained context. A, a good friend of his is the president of the Cleveland Browns in Alex Shiner. So there's already that connection. According to reports, former Blue Jays general manager Alex Anthopoulos has landed a front office position with the Los Angeles Dodgers. The 38-year-old was the architect of the lethal Blue Jays offense, which led the majors in runs scored this past season and helped deliver the club's first division title and playoff appearance in 22 years. But at the height of his professional tenure, Anthopoulos departed Toronto after the club hired Mark Shapiro to become the new team president and CEO. After seven seasons at the GM position with the Blue Jays, Anthopoulos will now reportedly work alongside Dodgers GM Farhan Zadi, though the specifics of his duties are not yet known. For more on these stories and reaction to the Hall of Fame class of 2016, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.